Geneticists are nearing the discovery of the mysterious hominin species that interbred with modern Africans. As we have extensively covered on this channel, Dr. Michael Hammer, a geneticist from Arizona State University, was the pioneer in identifying archaic hominin DNA admixture in modern Africans. He and his colleagues published two papers, one in 2005 and another in 2011, identifying what they believe to be approximately 5% archaic DNA in modern Africans. PNAS, Genetic Evidence for Archaic Admixture in Africa, 2011. A long debated question concerns the fate of archaic forms of the genus Homo. Did they go extinct without interbreeding with modern humans, or are there genes present in contemporary populations? Continuing, it is now well accepted that anatomically modern humans originated in Africa and eventually dispersed all over the world. What is not known is whether archaic hominins made a genetic contribution to modern human genes. Continuing, our findings suggest that Central Africa may have been the homeland of a now extinct form that hybridized with modern humans. Please see our prior video on this channel on Dr. Michael Hammer. Sankararaman and Dervasula. A hugely groundbreaking study was released in late 2019 by two award-winning UCLA geneticists, Sriram Sankararaman and Arun Dervasula. The duo found up to 19% archaic hominin DNA admixture in modern Africans. From the BBC, a mystery ghost population of now extinct ancient human-like creatures may have interbred with early humans in Africa, February 2020. Continuing, researchers suggest DNA from this group makes up to 2-19% to of African genetic ancestry and that interbreeding occurred about 43,000 years ago. Sankararaman, quote, there was integration into the African population from a super archaic population that split off prior to the split between Neanderthals and modern humans 600,000 years ago. Continuing, quote, neither Neanderthal or Denisovan, a ghost archaic population, we estimate a fairly substantial contribution of this archaic ghost lineage of about 11%. What is this population? We don't know." End quote. Similar findings from other geneticists and researchers. Since the early to mid-2000s, a number of other geneticists have reached similar conclusions. Quote, I think there's good reason to think that the archaic hominids mix with other forms inside of Africa. There are some indications of that in the genomes of present-day Africans. End quote. Nobel Prize winning geneticist Svante Pebo. Quote, Sub-Saharan populations derive 2 to 19% of their genetic ancestry from an archaic population that diverged before the split between Neanderthals and modern humans. End quote. Christian Capelli and Cindy Santadar, ResearchGate 2019. Peter Frost, National Geographic Explorer, UNS.com 2010. Sub-Saharan Africans actually have more archaic admixture. The difference is that it came not from Neanderthals, but from archaic groups within Africa, about 13%. Quote, the genomes of Hadsta, Sandawe, Biaka, Baka, and 
the Sun people bear evidence of a small fraction of introgression from highly genetically divergent populations that no longer exist, end quote. Professors Lee Berger and John Hawks, 2015. Which species? Dr. Hammer speculated Pacific Magazine, 2017, perhaps the African version of Homo erectus, quote, we might use genetics as a predictor of what the paleontologist might find, end quote. On a YouTube podcast of World of Paleoanthropology in 2020, Berger stated that, quote, Homo naledi likely contributed to the ghost species DNA admixture in modern Africans, end quote. Chris Stringer has posited that the introgression came from Afro Heidelbergensis, quote, My bet is that Homo Heidelbergensis is the introgressor, end quote. Omer Gokuman, professor of biology at the University of Buffalo, believes, quote, This unknown human relative could be a species that has been discovered, such as a subspecies of Homo erectus, end quote. Admixture with multiple species? New Scientist 2018, Tracking the Peopling of the World Through Genomics. Ake and Tishkoff have spent years sequencing and analyzing the genomes the Baca hunter-gatherers from Cameroon and the Hadsta and Sundawi from Tanzania. Continuing, DNA from another hominid species is found only in the descendants of African people, not Eurasians. The ghost species must have interbred with Homo sapiens after the out-of-Africa migration 60,000 years ago. A K to new scientist. There might have been more than one hominid species interbreeding with anatomically modern humans. Other scientists have echoed a multiple introgression model. NPR. Ghost DNA in West Africans 2020. It's also possible that the ghost DNA found in this study comes from multiple groups. University of Washington biostatistics professor Sharon Browning added, quote, It could have been from more than one archaic population in theory. End quote. Stringer, for example, has often talked about a pan African approach. He has suggested Iwo Eluru Man from Cameroon and Jebel Urhud from Morocco might have played a major role. See our video here on this channel on Stringer, Katarina Harvati and Iwo Eluru. Breakthrough Afrogenomic Study Solves a Major Part of the Puzzle Two African physicians in America as visiting scholars released a major study in 2023. Leveraging our common African origins to understand human evolution and health. In March of 2023, a study was published at Cell from two distinguished medical researchers that reached some astonishing conclusions. Huljambo, Wuhaligani, Nafarahi Sana Kukwona, Tafadale, Asante. Ambroise Wankam is a professor of genetic medicine and director of the Department of Genetic Medicine at John Hopkins University. He is also on the faculty of the University of Cape Town in South Africa. Dr. Atabowali Atayemo is a faculty member of the College of Medicine, University of Ibadan, Nigeria, and works at 
Epidemiology at the National Human Genome Center at Howard University. Their paper was published March 8, 2023. We report whole genome sequencing across 12 indigenous African populations and analyze local adaption and evolutionary history. They looked at sickle cell anemia, a disease that largely affects Africans and Afro-Americans. The disease causes the red blood cells to harden. They also looked at COVID-19's effect on Afro-ethnic populations. Wankum and Adeyemo studied 12 different indigenous populations from varying regions of Africa. Their goal was to better understand diseases that affect Afro-ethnics living in the West. Paper. We study human evolution and identify genetic factors related to health by analyzing the diverse genomes present across African populations. Additionally, we believe studying African genomes can provide crucial insights into the genetic basis of diseases and human traits across the globe. Of special note, in the main text, the authors reference Shumlaka related to Iwo Eluru, the recent report of the successful isolation and sequencing of the DNA from four children buried at Shumlaka 3,000 to 8,000 years ago. This directly relates to Chris Stringer's work at Iwo Eluru in Cameroon. However, it is also noteworthy that Sankararaman has spoken of Shumlaka in various lectures. And of course, Dr. Hammer was hot on the trail of discovering the archaic hominid DNA admixture in Cameroon in 2011 and 2012 before he mysteriously halted all his further genomics research. The Wankam Adeyemo study includes extensive graphs and diagrams outlining archaic hominid admixture events with ancestors of extant Africans. Figure 1. Complex demographic history of African populations consists of ancient population evolutionary divergence, including multiple introgressions of archaic DNA within African genomes. Continuing, as illustrated by a simplified demographic model indicating at least two introgression events from archaic humans that never moved out of Africa. Curiously, in the text of the paper itself, the authors mention only two introgression events, yet there are three such events represented on their chart. Note. Introgression is simply an academic anthropological term meaning sexual encounters, mixing of genes, typically a modern extant human with an archaic hominid species. Paleoanthropologists and geneticists generally agree that two introgression events took place with the direct ancestor of Homo sapiens 700 to 800,000 years ago and 300,000 years ago. Joshua Akei, New Scientist, October 2019, quote, So, 700,000 years ago, there's a population in Africa that splits off from the modern human lineage, goes out of Africa, and becomes what we recognize as Neanderthals. Continuing, Akei, at the same time, there's another split in Africa that becomes sort of like an African Neanderthal, end quote. The 700,000 to 800,000 year old introgression event is almost certainly Homo ergaster or Afro erectus. The 300,000 year old introgression that Joshua Akei speaks of is likely Jebel or Hood leading to Evil Eluru Man. Quote What has surprised us on genetic diversity found in African populations today? the presence of an extinct archaic African population. 
with whom anatomically modern humans would have mixed, end quote. Continuing, quote, the results indicate that there were subpopulations with which anatomically modern humans who remained in Africa had offspring, end quote. Oscar Lau, investigator, CNAG, Phys.org, 2019. Divergence with Eurasians. We now know anatomically modern humans were out of Africa by at least 220,000 to 300,000 years ago. And as we have learned, the second introgression event 300,000 years ago is likely Jebel or Hood leading to Homo Iwo Eloriensis. What is still yet to be confirmed is whether there were populations of anatomically modern humans outside of Africa prior to the likely introgression period of 300,000 years ago. Regardless, Wankum and Adeyemo indicate that divergence occurred with Eurasians at 80,000 to 100,000 years ago. Wankum and Adeyemo do chart a back introgression from Neanderthals into African anatomically modern humans, but notably not any from Denisovans. As is noted in the chart, an archaic hominid introgression event with Africans likely occurred after their divergence from the ancestors of Eurasians around 300,000 years ago. An introgression event with archaic hominids and anatomically modern human Africans with only tiny amounts of back introgression from Neanderthals and zero from Denisovans at 80 thousand to 100,000 years ago. A split with other anatomically modern human populations followed by a major introgression event with archaic hominids. Africans, a distinct and remarkable branch of modern humans with unique hominid admixture. In their paper, Leveraging Our Common African Origins to Understand Human Evolution and Health, Wankum and Adeyemo aim to identify distinct DNA patterns among Africans. Their key objective was to underscore the significant differences in health care needs for African Americans. Hammer, Sankararaman, and Dervisula laid the groundwork. With their new analysis of the archaic hominid DNA genetics data, Wankum and Adeyemo may have uncovered something even more profound. A distinct evolutionary trajectory for Africans, separate from that of Eurasians. Make sure to frequently visit our website, subspecies.com. And thank you for watching. We'll see you soon.